Hello everyone, Abdul Mukset here with a new episode of Croco Tips. In this segment, we will discuss short tips and tricks of Croco blog, which you can use in your website to make it more beautiful and dynamic. Today, in our first episode, we will discuss four things: allow user to post once, an improved version, template based on date and time or user role, add icons to your profile menu, and decision based on user meta. So let's start. All right. So first, we will go to allow user to post only once. Now, this is by default in Jet Engine setting. You can go to Jet Engine Profile Builder, and here you can specify the number of posts by a user. You go to Advanced, and here you can mention that administrator can post only one event. Okay, the limit to one. Or you can specify other user role also. But when you go to the template, it will still show the form to user. Now this user is administrator, and you can still see his form. Now how we can hide it for good user experience? You can go to this page where the form is added. Click on dynamic visibility. Enable, show or hide. We will click on hide. We will choose the condition as not equal. In the field, we will select dynamic function. The function name is count, and the data source is post meta. Here, we will choose. Data con in data context, we will choose by the current user post by the current user. Post type will be publish and post sorry post status will be publish and type will be event. Okay, now this condition will not work because usually in dynamic visibility in dynamic function they are asking for post meta. So in your CPT there must be one or multiple mandatory fields. Just like we have date in the event, so I will enter date here. Okay, so it will pull the data for me. Okay, so date, and then we will hide this form if the dynamic function returns one. Okay, not equal to zero, and we will update it. If it is zero, you can show the form because the user has not post anything yet. But if it is greater than zero, you can hide the form. I will go to front end and I will click on add event. It is still showing the form because this user has no post. So I will quickly go back to events and quick edit, and I will specify one post. I will associate this post to this user. Let's refresh, and the form is hidden. Okay. Now this is a good user experience. He cannot see the form, but what we need. Extra is to create a message. Okay. And I want to show this message instead of the form, so the user knows what's the issue. Show if we would repeat the same exercise. Is greater than okay show element if count is greater than zero dynamic function count data source post field date instead of all post current user and here we choose publish and post type event okay which is greater than zero you can show us the error message update and let's see here 
add event and it is showing us the error message you can format the error message as you want this is how you can hide the form for users if they don't have rights to post second template based on date and time now you want to show certain templates on specific date and time or specific user role okay uh, i will go to my templates and here i already created two templates one for admin role and one for author okay i want to show this template uh, in the same place here i want to show these templates okay i will add a new call uh, a new section from here i will drag short code now what you can do you can also apply this dynamic visibility on this section and you can design whatever you want but what if you have more than one section so it becomes a problem what you will do you will create templates full template page templates and you can include these template by short course now this one is for author template okay so i will drag a short code paste the short code and now for admin i'll take a duplicate of this one and this is for admin go to dynamic visibility enable show this element or show this short code or show this template if user role is the first one was for author so we will choose author the second is for admin see admin okay so this is for admin show this template if user role is administrator this one is for author and which one we choose which one is selected okay this one let's update now i have two user opened already one in this window if i click on add event this is admin so it is showing welcome mr admin and the rest of the template continues you can design full template and i will open incognitive and i will click on add event let's see which role we have here we have mr author okay this way you can control the template now if you want to apply these templates based on date you can easily do it by adding the dates okay suppose here greater than and here you choose the uh, current date and time okay and now sometime you might not see the default fields here like current date and time is not here you can choose it from the value okay make rows today okay this is current date and time and here you can compare with the date you specify so this template will be shown only after this date or before you can change it from greater than or less than Third, add icons to profile menu. Right now in Croco blog, we don't have any icons option to the profile menu, but you can add it. Remember, if you are using Elementor and you find a place where you can add HTML, you can for sure add font awesome icons over there. So let me search for dashboard. I will click on this icon it will give me a code this one i class fa fa the tachometer i will copy and i will go to jet engine profile builder account page and dashboard here in front of dashboard i will add the icon click on save let's refresh and we got the icon i will pause the video and add all icons to these menus 
all right i have added all the icons now it looks more beautiful and clean last thing decision based on user meta sometime you need to take decision based on user meta you can take decision based on user role also but sometime you can take with meta now i have a user and i have added a meta department and there is a value what i want i want to show a text here if this department belong to the same user okay i will take a heading okay and i will write text for example now this is just example you can use it for any sort of feature this event is published by your department i will go to advanced and dynamic visibility enable and show this element if condition made uh, the condition is equal to and what field we need to choose is current term and the term is department and the field is term id not name term id and here the value should be macro current user meta and the meta is department if department of the user meet with the department of the post you can show a form you can show a text you can show whatever you want let me update so this user belongs to IT department 3 so he can see this text only on department number 3 or information technology department I refresh the page there is nothing let me go to home page and see any event from IT department okay introduction to web and I can see this event is published by your department that's how you take decision based on user meta I hope these tips will help you and you can build more dynamic and beautiful websites if you have any question please share in the comments thank you so much